Okay, welcome to what will definitely be the final part of this tutorial. Um, because we were so rudely interrupted by my video timer, um, I'm going to quickly explain what's going on here. Um, basically, this if statement here will check if a comment has been successfully posted. If it has, we reload the current page. If it hasn't, we redirect them back to the blog list page. Um, I'm not sure if this will be um, on the end of the previous video because YouTube uh, well, it seems that they've allowed me an extra 22 seconds. Um, yeah, so well, I guess that's good. So um, let's just quickly test adding a comment. Should just resend the data. Uh, oh dear, that's another error. Terrible. Um, okay, I've missed an I out of that on comments online. Whatever line it said, 31. So that's this line. Ah, uh, yes. That should be there as well. Okay, sorry about that again. Uh, if I just reload this page. File notes. Oh, I've missed the .php out now. This is shocking. I apologise. Um, blog read. .php. Well, that means it's worked. Luckily, uh, if I just add the .php back in here, uh, you see now we have two comments. If I reload this, um, if I just submit a new comment, just say new, hit submit, we don't get the comment. Okay, uh, that means we have an error in the SQL. So let's go to our add comment function. Uh, where is it? Insert into comments, post ID. Quotes are all good. Values. Yeah, that all looks okay to me. So let's add the echo MySQL error. Ah, nope, seen it. Comment date. If I go back now and reload this page, which won't work, if I just add the same post again, uh, new comment. Say add comment. You see, now we actually get a new comment. So, see, seen debugging in action here. Um, so yeah, that's good. That's working fine. Um, we are able to add a new comment. Uh, so let's move on to the blog post page. I'll just go back to our index. The blog post. You see we just get this empty like this form that doesn't do anything at the moment. So I will just load up the blog post page. Um, all we're going to do, um, I've got the form here all we're going to do is check if the form has been submitted in the usual way is set post uh, user that's one of the first field post title second field and post pot post uh, body if this has been submitted we are going to add a post and then we're going to use the header function again to redirect back to the index page using the location header uh, back to blog list.php. I'm just going to kill the script there because we don't want to process this HTML, even though it won't actually do much work. But just what you do, good practice after sending a header, kill the script. Um, <coughs> so the add post function that we defined had three parameters first one being the user, the second one being the title title, and the final one being the body. So now that should be ready for an initial test. So let's go back to our browser. Let's type in Bob. Give it a title. Bob's first post. Um, my Surname is like my first name. Bit of a reference back to an earlier video. Um, if I just hit add post. Oh, I've done it again. Sorry, terrible. Okay. Um, post dot ink add post HTML enter T's. <laughs> Every time I use that function, I spell it wrong. Uh, is this right? Looks right. Let's see. Resend the data. You see that works fine. Um, although I spelled Bob's wrong. Um, you see, this um, 
has added a new post. We've been redirected back to blog list. So this is technically the tutorial complete. If I just click on this, you see we get um, the post, the full post. So if I add a comment, just myself, uh, your surname was Bobson. Just add a comment, you see the comment added successfully. Uh, it tells me we've got one comment. We go back to here, uh, just reload this page. On this page we get the fact that there's one comment and the date it was posted. Um, and then from earlier we have the fact that there are two comments on this other post, which there are, um, and the last comment date. Okay, so that is technically the end of the tutorial. It's also really the end of the tutorial, so uh, I'd just like to apologise for the few syntax errors and misspelled functions. Um, Hopefully, well actually it might have helped, maybe it showed you some useful tips for debugging. I could pretend I did them on purpose, but that would be a lie. So I'm going to end this tutorial here, and hopefully you've learned some useful stuff. Um, so yep, thanks for watching, and sorry for the few mistakes that I made.